The Marvel Cinematic Universe is connected to everything. Thanks to the introduction of the multiverse, the MCU has opened the floodgates to crossover galore. This has turned previous movies that were not a part of the MCU to be considered canon. I decided to see just how far down the rabbit hole I could get. Just how many movies and TV shows could be considered canon or connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe when we take the multiverse into account. The outcome will most definitely shock you, as believe me, it gets pretty crazy. Sit back and relax as we enter the Marvel Cinematic Universe is connected to everything theory. Let's dive right in by examining the groundbreaking Spider-Man No Way Home. This film opens the doors to various universes, including Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man trilogy universe and Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man universe. These universes are definitely canon, and it's hard to argue otherwise. Now, remember the cameo from Sony's Venom in No Way Home? Well, that connection firmly ties the Venom universe into the mix also. But there's more. Recall the post credit scene in Mobius? Well, the bulge up from Spider-Man Homecoming makes an appearance. This subtle crossover places Mobius as canon. Now let's chat about everyone's favourite merc with a mouth, Deadpool. The game-changing announcement that Deadpool 3 is an official part of the MCU transforms it into canon, along with the first two Deadpool movies and all the continuity they bring. This revelation ripples even further, connecting all 13 of the X-Men movies to the multiverse. There's ample evidence to back this up, Wolverine's confirmation for Deadpool 3, the X-Men's presence in Deadpool 2, and the alternate version of Professor X in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. These pieces of the puzzle all point towards the undeniable canon status of both X-Men and Deadpool. Oh, oh, your poor wife. Next up, we enter the mid-2000s Fantastic Four movies. A curious detail emerges in a deleted scene. Mr. Fantastic's face morphs into Wolverine. This twist hints at a connection between the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, a connection that's solidified by a variant of Mr. Fantastic in Multiverse of Madness. This variant's existence confirms his presence within the multiverse. But we're just getting started. Let's discuss the captivating Spider-Verse films. Let's focus on Across the Spider-Verse, which gives us an Andrew Garfield Spider-Man cameo. This inclusion confirms the canon status of both the Spider-Verse films along with the colourful array of universes from those movies. Just to name a few that have been confirmed, we have Spider-Man 1967 animated series, the birthplace of the iconic pointing meme, Spider-Man Unlimited 1999, and the spectacular Spider-Man 2008 series. And believe it or not, even video games like Spider-Man Unlimited and Marvel's Spider-Man are now a part of the MCU's expanding multiverse. But who could forget the Lego Spider-Man cameo in Across the Spider-Verse? This unexpected appearance validates the LEGO universe's place within the MCU, forging connections with all the films within the LEGO Cinematic Universe. Now things start to get really crazy. Some LEGO characters, Emmett and Wildstyle from the LEGO movie, appear in Space Jam 2. While these LEGO characters are shown within the serververse, some might argue that they're internet copies, but the presence of dimensional hopping characters like Rick and Morty suggest otherwise. LeBron James comes from the real world, and Rick and Morty from another dimension, so it's plausible that these LEGO characters, who are also known for travelling between worlds, are the real versions. This makes Space Jam 2 canon. It's game time! Y'all ready for this? Along with the Looney Tunes and heaps of other elements from the serververse, including the aforementioned Rick and Morty, who share a connection with Solar Opposites. This comes in the form of a game, Tropa Saves the Universe, that appears in both shows. This subtle connection knits these two series together and confirms them both as canon in the MCU's multiverse. Soul Opposites also reveals an amusing crossover with none other than The Simpsons. This whimsical crossover plugs The Simpsons firmly into our theory. And guess what? The Simpsons share a crossover special with Futurama and Family Guy, further extending our multiverse. Heck, we can even add American Dad to the list. Dance with me, Lois. Dance the dance of life! But if you're still not fully on board, let's dive into the intriguing realm of Stan Lee's iconic cameos. Stan Lee plays the role of the Watcher, traveling different universes and timelines. This is confirmed in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This intriguing concept paves the way for a new layer of connectivity. Consider all the films where Stan Lee made his memorable appearances. Using this logic, let's explore the connections. For instance, the 2003 version of Daredevil could be linked due to Stan Lee's presence, 
and also The Hulk 2003 for the same reason. Even the gifted TV show is a part of the multiverse also thanks to Stan Lee's interdimensional journeys. But the Stan Lee thread doesn't end there. Brace yourself for a mind-bending connection. In Big Hero 6, Stan Lee plays the role of Fred's dad. Now, Big Hero 6 stems from a Marvel comic series, and Stan Lee's appearance within serves as an undeniable link to the broader Marvel universe. The superhero context of Big Hero 6, combined with Stan Lee's presence, makes for a solid case that Big Hero 6 is in the MCU's multiverse. More evidence supporting this is in Avengers Age of Ultron. As Tony Stark shifts through a drawer while seeking a backup AI, you can see a chip labelled Tadashi. This is a reference to Hero's older brother from Big Hero 6, yet another thread between the two worlds. And here's a surprising twist, Wreck-It Ralph enters the equation. The abundance of toys and merchandise from Wreck-It Ralph within Big Hero 6 nudges us towards a fascinating conclusion. The Wreck-It Ralph video game must exist within Big Hero 6, making Wreck-It Ralph another part of the MCU's multiverse. Now get ready for perhaps the most crazy connection yet. In Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph breaks the internet, a twist emerges. A character from the real world enters the mix, introducing a unique perspective on the multiverse concept. We get a cameo from Miranda Sings, of all people, and this implies the existence of the real world within the MCU's multiverse. So in a weird way, that awful ukulele apology video is technically considered canon. Which means I'm considered canon. And that means you, the person watching this video, is also considered canon. Crazy, right? As we peel back the layers of this theory, it becomes clear. Connections thrive, weaving an elaborate narrative that spans the multiverse. With each new revelation, the web grows denser, hinting at a realm where possibilities are boundless. Let's take a look at everything that is considered canon in the MCU's multiverse, at least according to my theory. The MCU movies and TV shows, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man trilogy universe, Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man universe, the Venom universe, the Morbius movie, the Deadpool trilogy, all 13 X-Men movies, the Fantastic Four movies, the Spider-Verse films including an array of Spider-Man universes, the Lego Cinematic Universe, Space Jam 1 and 2, the Looney Tunes, and other Serververse characters, Rick and Morty, Solar Opposites, The Simpsons, Futurama, Family Guy, American Dad, 2003's Daredevil, The Hulk, and the Gifted TV series, Big Hero 6, Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and finally, The Real World. So what can we take away from all of this? Pretty much everything is connected in one way or another. I'd love to grow this theory further and eventually connect as many movies and shows or games as possible. It would be awesome to see how huge this theory could get. So if you can think of any other way something is connected that I might have missed, please leave a comment below and maybe in the future I'll make an updated version of this theory. Thanks for watching everyone, like and subscribe for more videos, but most importantly, don't forget to stay critical. That's the end of the show.